I'm Stephen Main. Welcome to the Main Report. Now on the Wednesday night before Easter, I went along to a seminar to hear the legendary Sir Rod Eddington talk about director's duties. Now Sir Rod is a director of Allco Finance Group, so I was quite surprised that he would turn up. He's also the busiest man in corporate Australia. That title used to be held by Peter Mansell. This is what I said about him in a video late last year. Mansell chairs WA News and VFX, which are both in the ASX Top 100. He also chairs an unlisted Perth-based winery called Fern Grove. He's the chairman of the WA government's power utility, Western Power, and he's on two other boards, the Barnes Property Trust and Great Southern Plantations. Since then, Mansell has added a directorship at the Zinefex offshoot Nystar. But he's merged Zinefex with Oxiana and will be surrendering the chair. And he's also about to be booted off as chairman of WA News by Kerry Stokes. So today, it is my formal duty to say, Arise, Sir Roderick. I hereby declare you and crown you the busiest man in corporate Australia. And here's why Sir Rod gets the crown. The lad made his name in the airline business, rising to be the CEO of Cathay Pacific at the age of just 42. He then spent 13 years as the CEO of Cathay, Ansett and then British Airways until 2005 when he returned to Australia. His first big board seat was News Corporation in 1999. He added Rio Tinto in 2005 on returning to Australia plus the notorious Allco Finance Group. These three public company gigs are almost full-time in their own right. Fancy being the lead independent director keeping Rupert Murdoch accountable at News Corporation. Fancy being a Rio Tinto director right now when BHP Billiton is trying to take them over. And as an Allco Finance Group director, Sarod is leading negotiations with the banks who want to get $10 million back from this group as the empire collapses. Throw in his chairmanship of JP Morgan Australasia and you've got four pretty big private sector gigs. But would you believe, Rod's also got four big government gigs. He's chairman of Melbourne major events in here in Victoria, succeeding the likes of Ron Walker and Steve Weiser. He's chairing the review as to whether Melbourne should link up the Eastern Freeway with the Tullamarine Freeway. He's a chairman of Kevin Rudd's business advisory group. And he's also just been appointed chairman of Infrastructure Australia, advising the Rudd government on all the infrastructure requirements for the nation over the next couple of decades. So we're talking eight gigs there, and there's even more. He's also chairman of Swire and Sons in Australia, which is a privately owned business that turns over three or four hundred million dollars a year. Now with all of these commitments, my worry about Sir Rod is that he just doesn't have time to see what's really going on. And I rest my case on Allco. I've put $500 into each of these Allco related vehicles and have a look at the result. Talk about exploding value. I've lost $3,600 on those nine different investments. So I can only conclude that Sir Rod is going to spend more time over the next couple of years dealing with the Orco mess than anything else. And the lesson here is that the more gigs you take on, the less you actually see about what's going on inside each individual boardroom. So to all you directors out there, take on one chairmanship and maybe another couple. Don't try and do a Sir Rod and take on nine or ten gigs. You just literally can't do it. I'm Stephen Main. Just.